Hello everybody, my name is James Anthony Baldwin and I love money. Particularly things you can do with said money. However, if you are currently in your second or third year of university, you've probably realised by now that your student loan doesn't stretch as far as you thought it would. In fact, my student loan doesn't even cover the entirety of my rent, so... I I don't even have enough basic living requirements. But thankfully I save money over summer, I get a little bit of support from my parents, and I have a job while at uni. This. That's not always the case though, I mean a lot of my time in first year was spent scraping the barrel, eating absolute garbage for food, and then... <sighs> I mean going out was a pipe dream, let's be honest. So here's a little video for people like yourself that are dealing with the same issues I was on how to make your money go further at university. First things first, budget. I know it's obvious, but come on, it's the most important thing, so we've got to talk about it. I actually found this really good mantra on the UCAS website, uh, which kind of like helps you decide whether something is applicable for your budget plan, and uh, is really useful. Okay, listen to this. Basically, if you're completely skint, then you've got to ask yourself, do I need it, can I afford it, and can I get it cheaper anywhere else? And if you're not completely skint, then you've got to ask, will I use it, is it worth it, and then can I get it cheaper anywhere else? It's, it's that simple. And getting a good deal is like so pivotal. So to kind of put this in a literal situation, instead of buying like a coffee for three pounds from Costa, then maybe you could buy a flask and then every day you just fill up in the morning with a hot drink. But it could also be something like, would I actually have time to play this game that I want? Or will I actually enjoy this Mackey's or will I have a depressed shower afterwards? I'm also going to put a link down below for this money saving expert uh, page where it's basically called the demotivator. So you just kind of put in a thing that you regularly buy and it'll tell you how much you're spending a year, how much you're spending a week, how much it is coming out of your wages and your lifetime. It's, it's really fascinating how much money you waste on stuff as simple as coffee. Right, so you're budgeting, you're doing everything right, but you're still struggling. Get a job. Depending on what course you're on, you're going to have different types of availability and depending on where you're located, you're not always going to be able to travel into town to get like a retail job or something. This is where websites like Unitemps come in handy. That's actually where I got this job here. <laughs> Essentially, Unitemps is a job employment website designed primarily for students. So that just basically means there's a lot more smaller contracts on there, which is a bit more manageable for students that are having to balance it with their studies. Obviously, smaller contract means less money, but to be fair, I think the, uh, the pay rate's pretty generous. And if you enjoy it as well, then maybe it's just the little boost that your wallet needs. And oh my god, do not underappreciate the value of a student deal. You can get a cheap rail card, free Amazon Prime, 30% off Pizza Express, or maybe, maybe you'll just get a free McFlurry with your Mackey's meal. Just whatever you do, if you're going to do a big purchase, make sure you Google for offers before you do it, because I guarantee there's going to be something at most places. By the way, don't take this as an excuse to buy more things. I made that mistake last year. Finally... Overdraft, I've left this to the end because I think it really, really should just be a last resort. Too many people go straight into their overdraft in first year without thinking of the repercussions. I mean, just please do remember that an overdraft is a loan. It's not free money, okay? So you're gonna have to repay that at some point. And not only are you gonna have to repay it, but the rates are gonna go up. But if you don't have any other choice, then just remember to be careful. Do not go over the limit and make sure you're getting the best deal for you. Look at all the banks that are, get, that are offering student accounts. Because if you go over that limit, you're gonna find yourself in a vicious circle and it is very hard to get out of. So what's the takeaway here? Independency is nice, but it costs. When you're broke at uni, it kind of seems like there's no way out sometimes, but hopefully you can see here that there are plenty of ways to both make money and save money at university and not with too much effort either. Oh, and also, lay, lay off the Mackies. Yet again, that's it from me for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. As always, if you got any more questions, just drop it down in the comments or drop us a message on our social media, at Staffs Uni. But with that in mind, I'll see you in the next one.